if you hard code paths in your script, you're going to have a bad time. So you want to have a more dynamic way of finding where your script is being run from. Uh, sometimes people need to call other scripts in the same folder or programs, uh, but they're calling it from a folder that may move around or uh, somebody else is going to use it and maybe they don't put it in the right place. So instead of hard coding paths, it's easier to just find where the script is being run from and then identify that as being the working location. And you can use the working location throughout the rest of your script and that way if somebody moves the folder it's not going to break anything. Um, so one way to do that is by using the myinvocation.mycommand.path and if you try to um, look for this through the IntelliSense it's not going to show up because it, it doesn't it doesn't exist until you run it. So once we run it, uh, as long as this is a actual saved um, file, it'll spit back out the location of where we ran the script from. So from there, we can refine those results, and that way we'll have uh, the path, and we can call that path throughout the rest of our script. So what I like to do is first to lower, and that will make everything lowercase, and then I'm just going to replace um, the script name with nothing, and that way uh, we can get the path without anything else. So you'll see when I run it now, I get the the path. So I can take this and I can put it in a variable and say local path is equal to this command. We'll run it one more time. And we'll run local path, and now I can use this variable throughout the rest of my script to call uh, other programs, submenus, other scripts, and if it's inside of a folder, I can move this folder around without worrying about my script breaking. Uh, so think about, think about that. Try to avo avoid hard coding paths in your script whenever you can, and um, if, if there's a way around it, you can, you can find it, so look for it. This is one of those ways that you can do it. And that's it. Thanks for watching.